let's get started. Today we'll be talking a little bit about what's new in RightsAx version 10.6, and then we'll be touching on other two um, options that are also available from the RightsAx family, and then finally how to schedule your upgrade. A little bit of overview, I know everyone pretty much knows us. We are Syscom Services, headquartered in downtown Silver Spring, Maryland, and we have two divisions. We have a web technology division, which is a full web service agency doing design and integration and implementation of various sites uh, for the association, nonprofit, and member-based organization market. And we are with the document technology department. We are the right facts guys and gals, as well as we support other document solutions, such as um, site capture for forms processing and semi-structured um, processing, Teleform, EasyLink, Box, um, really the whole kit and caboodle regarding document technology. And OpenText, the manufacturer of RightFax, is by far the leader in fax solutions. Um, about a year and a half ago, they acquired EasyLink, which further cemented that. OpenText has a, a wide range of various faxing solutions, and we're going to be talking about the right fax solution today. OpenText, they want to be the, the one leader for anything regarding fax and information exchange. So for their faxing solutions, they have three main faxing solutions. The first is what we're going to be talking about and what many of our customers on the call today have, which is a traditional on-premise right fax system. They also introduced this past year a hybrid solution, which is a right fax on premise with the telephony um, in the cloud with their EasyLink cloud services. And then the third is fully hosted cloud software as a service faxing solution called EasyLink Fax to Mail. Right fax 10.6 became available earlier this month. It is available now for customers with active support contracts to download and install and implement. And today we'll be going over some of the new features. With right fax, what product management likes to do is they, they tend to focus on these four pillars for the solution. The first is compatibility. The second, compliance and security. The third, making sure RightFax is enterprise grade. It's scalable, so it works from you know small two-channel systems up to thousands of channels. As well as to make sure that it is used appropriately, we want to make sure that the ease of administration and in use is also featured. So in RightFax version 10.6 and the compatibility upgrade, what they really focused on were some support for various Microsoft applications and updating their integrations. In version 10.6, you'll see we not only support Exchange 2013, but we also have increased that support to increase Exchange Web Services, both for 2010 and 2013. So that's a new way that your RightFact system can integrate with your Exchange environment. We also have refreshed our SharePoint connector, so we support SharePoint 2013. Something new to note is for an operating system, we support Windows Server 2012, 2008, and 2008 R2. Something to note is that we do not support 2012 R2 yet. So the only version of 2012 server that we support is 2012. Something also important to note is that with 10.6, we no longer with the thick client of FaxUtil or Printifax support Windows XP. As these thick clients are backwards compatible, though, you can still install version 10 or 10.5 of those clients until your users are fully migrated off of the XP platform. We've also updated some of our integrations. RightFax has a ton of integrations, and this is just a snapshot of some of them that have been updated. The compliance and security is a section that we at Syscom are very excited about. They have really done a lot of great stuff with 10.6, quote unquote, under the hood, and especially regards to compliance and security, which many of our customers need to be cognizant of. The first is a launch of a brand new module. It's available for any server size, 
It's not included, but can be added on to any server um, for RightFax 10.6, and it's called the RightFax Encryption Module. What that does is it, it encrypts all of the fax images that are stored in the RightFax image directory. Um, and what's important for that is it also encrypts it at rest with the triple DES 192-bit security. Everything is tracked, everything is audit logged, and this is really great because we've helped a lot of organizations meet various compliances from HIPAA to PCI compliance to PII compliance, and this is a great way to just fully secure your RightFax system. It supports standalone RightFax solutions as well as um, clustered RightFax solutions and those RightFax solutions in a shared services collective model as well. Something that's really important for some of our federal customers or our federal contractors is RightFax 10.6 is now fully compliant with FIPS. There's, during the setup of 10.6, um, there's a way that you can make sure that RightFax is set up in a FIPS compliant mode when FIPS is activated within Windows. So this is a really great addition for some of our customers that are more federally focused. RightFax is really um, beefing up their security, and with that, they have architected a new module for a connection to Alchemy. Alchemy is the, is the open text um, archiving solution that works well as a normal archiving solution, but it is really a great sweet spot for fax archiving. So with this new RightFax Vault module, um, it's you know brand new from the bottom up. This new module to integrate with Alchemy allows um, you to select when you want things archived and when. Um, it's a pretty neat redesign of that connector. The next pillar that OpenText focused on was making sure RightFax stayed the enterprise grade leader that it is. To do that, they have increased the support uh, for RightFax collectives. Previously, it had been four servers that were certified. There were other customers using more than that in the field. And so they decided to extend that support to up to 12 application servers in a single RightFax collective. And while 12 servers connected together might seem like a beast, for some of these very large, um, high availability uh, customers and need to make sure that they have business continuity, it's a great solution for a wide um, distributed environment. It's also great there's some customers that are using it, um, a use case is they have multiple production servers that are truly acting as production within the collective, and then they also can have some cold spares that are also tied into the collective that they can bring on as well. Something that's nice that they did with the RightFax Collective is they've improved the management of these collectives um, in terms of settings. So you can propagate settings to any or all member nodes, and that's just a nice setup feature. RightFax has also implemented um, the Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager. That's for pushing out the thick clients. We've always supported silent or unintended install of these thick clients, but now um, by supporting Microsoft CSCCM, we can do that as well in um, a little bit more elegant fashion. Something that's also nice for administrators is um, some enhancements they made to service management. Basically, you can have RightFax services set up to automatically restart upon failure. So your server can, quote, unquote, take care of itself. So you don't have to worry about manually restarting those services. They can automatically do them now. Some of the previous versions of RightFax 10 introduced a new um, browser agnostic web client, and they are in enhancing that by also making the web enterprise fax manager for administrators also browser agnostic. So it supports IE, Firefox, Chrome, and Safari. RightFax is also focused on continuing their operability with various um, providers for the telecoms side as well. The last pillar is the ease of administration of use, and they've done some nice enhancements in here also. 
I really like this because I like charts and I like pictures. They put in this RightFacts admin dashboard. Um, this works for um, also uh, shared services environments and remote doc transports. What's really nice is it shows you over either 24-hour period or 30-day rolling view of your channel utilization and your fax volume in a really easy to see way. So you can see if you're having bottlenecks towards the end of the month where you're hitting various capacities. Um, it's something that we work with a lot of customers that are interested in maybe consolidating multiple right track systems or um, up when they're looking to upgrade their system, they're saying, hey, we need to see where we are in volume. Are we okay with the number of channels we have? Can we reduce it to save some money? Do we need to expand it? Are we hitting our limits? And I often ask people, can you get me a volume count? Because that's what we really need to know. And you have to poke around in the fax reporter. Now you can do it through this nice and easy. So when we ask you for that information, it's not quite as painful. Open Text has also enhanced some of the alerting and monitoring that's available. You can now use the Microsoft System Center Operations Manager um, to integrate with a Red Fox alerting and monitoring that's already built in. Um, so you can now pull them onto a dashboard as well. So that's something you, you utilize already. Um, that's a nice feature. In regards to more reports, um, Open Text has introduced the ability for admins to pull reports not only over time but also by group. So this is great for some of our, our larger enterprise customers that might have various departments, especially if you're looking at any sort of billback or payback type things um, that you have to implement. This is um, a really great way for you to see not only when you have bottlenecks in production, see when you're saturated, but also see what are my different users and groups doing. Um, if you, you could look and see that a certain department maybe isn't utilizing it as much as you thought, maybe some additional training would be in, in order for your users. Or conversely, if another department is utilizing it way more than you thought, then maybe we could talk about either additional capacity or, or other things we could do to support them. OpenText has also done some improvements around fax notifications. So you can now, for example, allow inbound any information to be populated in SMTP messages. You can also um, allow your right fax server to include the fax transmission speed information as part of the fax notifications. With right fax, um, right fax and whoever you are faxing to, the speed that the document is fax is dependent on both sides, both points of that transmission. So even if your right fax server is super speedy and you're sending a fax to a fax machine at a Kinko's that's 15 years old, it'll be at that lower speed. So if you're having complaints from your users based off of transmission times, this information can be helpful because of the nature of fax, right fax has to match whatever speed it is communicating with. So that's something that could be interesting to know. We also have added Microsoft User Access Control. Um, so that's something that some right fax admins have asked for, and that is now in the product. For customers that are sending PDFs outbound, there are different settings for various um, uh, conversion qualities that you can set up. So if you're sending a lot of images versus other types of documents, that is configurable. We've also added some enhanced um, fax aging improvements. So you can set different retention policies based on the status of the fax, whether it's a successful, failed, or permanent problem. So if your organization um, is fine, successful faxes, keep them for 30 days, great. But those that are trouble faxes that you need to keep record of, you can set a different retention policy for them. Just add some more flexibility. To upgrade to WriteFax 10.6, there's a couple different ways. Um, basically, we need to do an in-place server upgrade or a server migration. Uh, if we're doing an in-place upgrade, you have to be on version 10 or 10.5 already. If you're doing a migration, we do have a migration tool that can assist, and our wonderful syscom engineers can help you with either of those implementations. That's, in a nutshell, um, at a high-level overview, what's new in RedFax 10.6.
I also want to touch base on two other fax offerings that you might have heard about from OpenText. The first is called WriteFax Connect. What that is is WriteFax on-premise, so you have your server, but we don't need to have telephony. We don't need to have any channel licenses or fax cards or gateways. The actual transmission um, is done by the EasyLink Cloud data centers, which are very secure, very reliable. Um, and it's, an, it's a neat solution. By having your WriteFax server on-premise, you still get to have that data sovereignty. You still get to maintain those integrations that you might already have. So with the WriteFax Connect, you get a couple of benefits. One, for inbound faxing, you can guarantee a never busy tone for your users. Um, they have a ridiculously robust system. It's um, by far the largest in the um, electronic faxing cloud services environment that is available. Um, you also have no capacity issues for outgoing faxes because there's no channel licenses associated with it. And something that's nice about this solution is that it could be used in tandem with your on, fully on-premise write fax system. So you can set up with dialing rules write fax to go over your current telephony for outbound faxes, but in case of a failure or a busy tone um, or no available lines for outgoing faxes, you could then have uh, the fax go out via Connect. We have some customers that are looking at setting up Connect as DR, as disaster recovery, um, cheaper than having to have multiple T1s for disaster recovery purposes. Um, so that's a pretty cool offering. If you want to learn more about that, let us know. We're happy to chat with you. And then the other option is fax to mail, which is fully 100% cloud-based. No software is needed. No hardware is needed. Um, it supports various integrations as well. Again, 100% secu uh, great security, um, very scalable. Um, works really well for a lot of our customers as well. Um, has great disaster recovery um, stories behind it. You can port numbers over. Later on, you can port those numbers back. Um, so that's another option. So if either um, your management or you're interested in learning about, you know, the buzzwords of either cloud uh, services for facts or hybrid facts, talk to your Syscom account rep and we can let you know what's available. So the most important question, how do I upgrade? If you are lucky to be a Syscom Premium Support customer, you have the ability to um, not only have access to the upgrades, but have our awesome engineers install it and, con and configure it for you. Um, so contact us. We can schedule it, see what works for you. Um, for all other customers that don't have Syscom Premium Support, we're still available to help you out and, and perform the upgrade or migration for you. Um, let us know and uh, contact us or your account manager, and we can talk through an upgrade path and plan. Syscom has already installed and started doing um, our own testing of RegFax 10.6 um, for our own use, and we will continue to do that um, as we like to when a new version always comes out. Um, but even if you're, this is something that you're looking at planning on for in the summertime, give us a call. We can make sure that we can help plan your upgrade appropriately.